Hello, welcome, Hello. Victoria. Uh, I'm Zbigniew Delciuk, the today's chair of the committee. Uh, I'm experienced person who worked in public administration, also in ZUS, as the head of this institution, also uh, in real estate currently, and uh, in the bank as well. Together with me, uh, uh, Katarzyna Rinkiewicz, uh, she's the uh, uh, head of the health and uh, benefits division in uh, our own insurance company, and also uh, Magda Paciejewska, she's business consultant, and uh, also working on uh, earlier as an insurance expert. So it's your time for presentation and five minutes for this. We'll listen to you. Okay, good afternoon again. Again, my name is Victoria and I study in 14 high school in Warsaw. I feel honored to have this opportunity to talk to you today and I hope my presentation will be enjoyable for you. As a reminder of myself in childhood, I see a little girl. If this little Victoria had known that in high school she would get a chance to go to Silicon Valley, she wouldn't probably she wouldn't believe herself. Visiting the Global Center of Technology and Innovation has been my true, has been my dream since I can remember. Me and this little girl, Victoria, believe that this place is full of people just like us, individuals with this burning desire to create and explore the world. For me, it all started when I was in second grade of primary school when my mom persuaded me to take part in a math competition. It has such a strong impact on me that in sixth grade, I decided to change class from my music class to class with extended math and IT. And it was a great decision. It also turned into my achievements. I've got a laureate in Junior Olympics of Mathematics and Junior Olympics of Informatics. And now you can say that it was a bit crazy and insane. However, I decided to move from my hometown and go to the best high school in Poland to Warsaw. And it also was an excellent decision and it turned into my achievements. Until now, I have got two finalists in Olympics of Mathematics and, and other competitions like 14th uh, place in international uh, competition called NABUI. Of course, there are always ups and downs and when it comes to me, the STEAM fields is predominantly my sector, and it leads me to of it often leads me to many insecurities about my abilities. With overcoming these challenges, helped me and my idol Annie Easley. She showed me that with the, with determination, hard working, and positive attitude, you can do whatever you want, regardless race or gender and now i'm trying to follow her footsteps except technical skills of annie she was also known for her willingness to lend a help helping her to others and just like her i am do i do a lot of charity works i volunteer in my boarding school and in astronomic club where i manage where i have to manage social media and recently i joined it support that uh, that manage website called astronet also with finance from warsaw grants me and my friends created a ecological projects where we widespread informations about endangered animals in schools and self care centers for people with disabilities and I'm lucky to tell that we also bought a four hives for Masons B. Ex besides the social projects, I'm also involved in many scientific interdisciplinary projects, initi initiatives, and also with fun also funded by Warsaw grants. Me and my friends for the last two semesters of high school has been researching to determine if algae Halcrolella vulgaris are resistant enough to ground them in space mission and you could ask why is this even important it is crucial to have the answer to this question because algae system is probably one of the most efficient alternative for current system used in on for example iss to absorb carbon dioxide and produce oxygen in addition we also create miniaturized photobioreactor 
which is system to optimize and automize algae life parameter. I would lo love to talk about this project more. However, now I want to summarize uh, what I had to manage while I was doing them. Human time and technical resources was the main things I had to focus on. And if you ask me which, was, when, which one was the hardest to comprehend, I would definitely say the human connections. It required a lot of time, patience, and determination, but we did it. Talking to others and getting advice from, with, with, from people with more experience helped me to overcome this barrier. And this leads me to one of the most important reasons why I applied for this scholarship. Getting a chance to talk to specialists in STEAM fields would help me not just to grow as to grow as a person and get a special experience, but also it would allow me to apply the advices in my future groups projects. And for me, it was always about inspiration. If one people inspire others to people, and this other and every of these two people inspire others to people, and so on, we suddenly have a huge amount of of individuals with this burning desire to do something more. And in my case, when I work with a lot of people, the effect would be even greater. Of course, there are, also, there are always uh, personal benefits. And in my case, the crucial part is to have an opportunity to, to define my car future career path, especially when it comes to choosing university. I have just two years to make that decision. And for me, interdisciplinary people, a person with this huge amount of interest, it is extremely hard decision to choose one way to go and get with. And I hope that this scholarship would help me to, to define my career path. And thank you for your listening. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. I wait for your questions. Yes, please, Magdalena. So, yeah. uh, thank you so much for an interesting presentation, walking us through various projects of different fields. Uh, in the very last parts of your presentation, uh, you mentioned that you would like to use the scholarship to help you define your future. But let's assume there is a time capsule that transfers you from now to the in two years that you have to be in front of decision, what kind of uh, future do you even consider? Because if you want to, the scholarship to narrow down the choice, you have to have some options on the table already. Uh, so what kind of uh, studies or professional future do you foresee? Is it going to be more science or more corporate world? Which direction? Please okay. share us your idea. So Okay, so when I talk about my dream path that I are now, because I, I'm 100% sure that I want to do something important. And now I see myself as a mathematician or in on programmist. However, I didn't really know how to, in which sectors I should work, because when it comes to artificial intelligence, we can do, for example, autonomic, autonomic cars, we can do chat, chatbots and so on. There's a lot of things to, there's a lot of options to choose. And I have problem with that decision because I think when I get involved in something I do, I, I do something in, for, for the best. And I want to choose the best career path for me and to help others, but I'm not sure how. I I I know that I I want to be scientist. I want to explore the world, but I, I have just di a general di direction in which I want to go, but not the specific one. Okay, thank you, uh, Katarzyna. Uh, Victor Victoria, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, I hear you and I, I heard you and, you and I thought a woman uh, with a vision uh, for, from the from the very beginning you knew what to do and uh, um, and you, you you achieved that. Uh, you said also that um, you want to go to Silicon Valley to talk to people, grow that person and take advi advices. 
to advise you now? Uh, is it uh, I, I, are you rather working with yourself and you learn by yourself, or you have any advisors uh, around you and how they help you? Okay, I would say that there is a lot of people that are in my environment. Friends, teachers, my parents. I, I also have my friends on my wall. <laughs> I mean, even even just a talk could solve many problems that are involved in, for, for example, human co connections. And for me, I, I, I mentioned that I work with people just on daily day, daily basis and it's important to understand others so i try to get advices from my friends I, as i mentioned and also from some specialists i go to many uh, many, many workshops where i ask for many questions that i want to get the answer and i would say that this is now but when i was uh, in childhood the most important authority was also uh, of course my my parents okay, okay. thank you thank you you uh, wrote the essay about Anne ashley uh, and uh, she overcame some barrier what do you uh, assume what are the barriers for your age for your age for the your generation currently and what are the benefits of the of the current current situation for for your age for you people and your age? Um, I would say the most challenging barrier to overcome is to, is now I, but it, it's it's tricky one because it, it is also the most beneficial. Why? Because for it, if the main reason is this is something new. It's we get grow, we get grow in this, uh, in this modern time where artificial inter intelligence was created and and explore more and uh, i think it is it has a lot of benefits for us for myself also because i'm interested in i i i it and also especially when it, in artificial intelligence but it is also really extreme problem I don't know if you heard of the accident that was made in on 31 of March, but I was shocked when I found out that a Belgian man committed suicide when, after get after conversation with chatbot called Elisa. And as 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 a person who is inspired by by artificial intelligence, it was shocked that it has it can have such a negative negative come out and and it is really dangerous to not be alive and uh, stay to not stay awake and um, this accident was it, it opened my mind and i would say that Artificial intelligence is probably one of the most dangerous dangerous topic for now, and also one of the most beneficial topic for now. And we should focus on it because it can go in in any way. It can go in negative way and positive way. So, especially when it comes to my generation, we are we have to manage that. We have to we have to focus on. On uh, on artificial intelligence that it has to it have to it, it has to go in in good direction because okay, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, when I am listening to you, I should underline that you are a young uh, and mature person uh, and wisely answering uh, for difficult uh, que the, the question, which are some subjects are very important, and I also admire your. Uh, determination to for your personal development uh, to to make a choice to leave the mother who the, the, the parents uh, and and fight for your future and I wish you good luck in this. Thank you, Victoria. I am absolutely amazed uh, by all of your uh, uh, contributions and experience so far that you gained uh, and. 
uh, one remark and comment f from me. Don't put too much pressure on yourself when it comes to the idea. If you stay uh, flexible, flexibility is the, the biggest skill you, you might want to have in the future. And uh, people are changing their career paths. So no matter what you choose, given uh, your so far achievements, I am absolutely sure you're going to make it and you're going to make it big. And I'm going to uh, be watching for your name coming up uh, in the next years. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, and uh, last word from me, uh, you are very brave, continue to do that and uh, be open to uh, to other people and everything will be okay. Uh, uh, good luck to you uh, and thank you for being here. Bye. Thank you. you. I'm great that I met you. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.